Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at DaVinci Resolve 17's Color Warper. Now, this is another feature they added in the newest beta of DaVinci Resolve. So I have your clip uh, of just a simple scene with a bunch of colors on it. So I can kind of demonstrate what this thing is all about. So let's go ahead and go to the color tab. So here we are, and the Color Warper is right here. So the first thing you're going to notice is if you look at the colors around here this is pretty much mimicking the colors in the wheel right here so basically in a way this just gives you a little bit more control on how you can change the color in your scene because right here as you can see i mean i can change the colors by just moving this right here and i'm going to reset that but over here, you just get more points and plots and dots, and you can increase it as well by just going like this. Let's do like a 16, like a 24 by 16. So it's a little bit more precise than just doing this here. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to say I want to pick this color right here, all right, and you see that it's highlighted in the color warper here. So in the middle of this wheel is actually saturation as well. So if I pull this towards the middle, you're going to see that that shirt is going to start becoming gray or black and white. And if you pull the opposite direction, you are actually saturating it. So this is really cool because, you know, like the Ursa Mint Pro 12K where the greens don't really render uh, green, you can do that in that situation as well and i wish i would have had another clip here but i chose this because it's just better to demonstrate what this thing is doing so let's go ahead and uh reset this so similarly you can just select a bunch of points and adjust that way as well and if you want i my kids watch you know a lot of children's shows and in some of them they do like a like a t-shirt color swap whenever they're teaching the kids colors like you know i'm wearing blue and then it changes to like green or yellow and you know something like that you can do with this tool as well so if i want to change this guy's shirt from red so what i'm going to do is select this guy's color red and as you can see it's right there but what i'm going to do is actually select all of the range around it as well so if i hold control i'm gonna go ahead and select all of that so it's a little bit smoother and then what if I want to change that shirt to green? All I have to do is drag this over to the green and that's it. I pretty much just changed the color of that shirt. So that's kind of really cool and I see it quite a bit in the shows that they're watching. So I just kind of, you know, thought about that, uh, that technique there. So this wheel, like I said, just gives you a little bit more precision. And, and you know what, if, if I was to, if I was to give the newest DaVinci Resolve 17, uh, in one word, I would say it's really precision. They have added a lot of stuff in the software that makes it a little bit more precise, like I've told you guys in the video about this HDR color tab here. Uh, additionally, you can change these to, uh, you know, uh, HSL, HSY, HSP, but I can you know, leave it at HSP, it should be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset that real quick. So let's go ahead and just bring this to like 6x6 so you can see a little bit better. So additionally, with control, you know, selecting these, you can also use this pen tool and just draw it if you want. Uh, so you don't have to do the control, which is fine as well. And additionally, there is this auto lock feature right here. So if I go to restrict it to like two points or something and I click on one and I move it, you're going to see that the restrictions, you can see that the movement is pretty restricted to just those two points. So you can do that if you want to just, you know, like really target a color, but you don't want it to move a lot more than what you have selected and what you have locked. So that means if I go here, you see that it's just targeting that specific shirt right here that's changing. Okay. And if I remove this auto lock and I reset it, watch what happens. All right. You see that there's like one, two, three, four, five points that are moving. And it's affecting a little bit more. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and reset this. Now, the next tab right here is the Chroma and Luma control. This is another pretty cool tool. 
All right, so this right here pretty much lets you change the brightness of a color. So for example, I'm gonna take the spreadsheet again and it's gonna pick that on the plot and I'm gonna go ahead and just move it down and you're gonna see what happens. Starting to make everything in that range of you darker, okay? So let's go ahead and reset that again. But what if we just want that shirt to be darker? So I'm gonna press it again and then what I'm going to do is select, grab this, let's see, where is it? this one? I'm going to go ahead and select these ones, these lines right here, and I'm going to pin that. And then I'm going to select that shirt again, and then I'm going to bring it down again and see what happens. All right. Now you see that what I'm doing is a little bit more concentrated as far as making it dark. So see that? And then I'm going to do the before again. Watch this. All right, so it's grabbing the top, but you can pin it similar to how you can pin it in the color warper as well, which is really cool. Now, this is this is a really, really amazing, again, precision stuff that you can do with colors. Now, if you go to this angle right here, you can rotate it if you want, but, you know, that's up to you. You can mess around with it as well, and you can increase the plot points similar to the color warper. And then you can do HSV, HSL, saturation luminance, HSY, HSB, and HSB log. Okay. And then you can control grid one here. And then grid two is right here. So it gives you the same exact control. So if I go to change this top, you know, this green color and move it to magenta or red, you can do that. All right, guys, that's all I got for you all today. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys later.